Dr. Chen, uh, the question is when the churning starts, when you start on the spiritual path and the poison comes out, how do you deal with that? Um, Who said the poison? Yeah. <laughs> I've uh, obviously I, heard I understand. Say it again. Mm. And uh, how do you deal with that? Um, do you just let it keep coming out? Does it get burned away at some point? Uh, are there methods and techniques to deal with it, or you just wait for it to go on its own? The churning means the overturning of the mind to new concepts, to new understanding, to new discoveries, and then the churning starts. Because of the churning that this happens. And naturally, when the first thing that comes out is all the poison that is gathered in us. You know, in water, if water has to evaporate, it needs to bubble when you eat it. In the same way, if the mind has to be purified, all the mark inside has to come out first. It can't be buried inside, it has to come out. So when you're seriously practicing spiritual sadhana, it's a great chance that it will come out. But it will come out. And when it comes out, there are two ways. One is, some of it you need to allow to go. But then it shouldn't be dangerous to others. So then you need to also control it in some way. As long as it is not harmful to somebody else, allow it to go. Let it overflow. But if it's harmful to somebody, put a stop to it. Because it's not only your life, it's also the other person's life. In fact, it happens in many cases when one goes into, not many, some cases, where one thinks one is becoming spiritual. The churning begins. And then one begins to become worse than what one was before. Now that is the time to watch carefully. It can happen to gurus also. That's the time when one has to watch carefully and make sure how to handle this. Because it may be different things to different people, so there is no general way of handling it. Here it becomes very uh, useful if you have somebody who has already walked the path. Because this is largely unexplored territory. One who has walked knows where the pitfalls are. If he has walked, that's a different story. And then, in consultation, perhaps, one can work out how to handle the muck, the poison that comes out. But rest assured, when the poison is clear and gone, what comes out is an actor. So keeping that hope in front, you should try to handle it to the best of your capacity.